Them don't burn Tunubu owls in Ivory Coast. See what was discovered inside the building after the house was burnt to ashes. Ah, oh, my people. Now Tunubu again, oh, they don't um, burn in house down after the um, the last incident that occurred in Ivory Coast. In fact, it was a shocker. I tire my people because uh, as it be so, uh, this I, I said it yesterday that um, if care is not taken, that uh, uh, after uh, the the uh, what was it called the uh, address Tunubu gave yesterday, that the worst we um, we begin to happen. In fact what has not happened before and the protest that we have not seen before is what we begin to uh to happen okay let, let, let's quickly um go straight to um uh, to the very content then let's see what um really happened and what it really saw this is today's news a recent video circulating on social media allegedly showing President Paula Tunubu's residents in Ivory Coast engulfed in flames has ignited widespread concern and outrage among Nigerians. However, thorough investigation by a group of investigative journalists have debunked the video authenticity, exposing it as a piece of fabricated content. In the footage in question, apparently recorded by an unidentified individual, depicts a house purportedly belonging to President Tunubu in Ivory Coast being consumed by fire. The narrator in the video claimed that enraged Nigerians residing in Ivory Coast set the property ablaze in protest against the nation's prevailing hardship, hunger, and governmental policies. These claims, however, quickly fell apart under scrutiny. In-depth analysis by investigative journalists revealed several red flags in the video. The commentary accompanying the visual was determined to be tampered with. Casting immediate doubt on the video's credibility. Furthermore, a closer look at the footage indicated that the house featured was not even located in Ivory Coast, nullifying the claims of both the location and the alleged protest action. The investigative team effort uncovered that the video had been deliberately manipulated to concoct a misleading narrative. This manipulation highlights a growing concern about the role of misinformation in public discontent. Misinformation in public discourse, particularly during times of social unrest and political tension. The release of this deceptive video has sparked a wave of disappointment and frustration among Nigerians. Thank you for listening to today's news. All right, Nigerians, um, that is that for for this broadcast. Um, whether it is true or whether it is a lie, um, one thing for sure is that Bola Ahmed Tsunobu is not doing it right. And um, if it's not doing it right, believe me, um, something of this kind definitely will happen one day. So if it never happened, believe me, it could still happen. So the best thing is for Tsunobu to hastily, quickly, without time wasting, um, adhere to the cry and the call of the angry youth because now they have decided to step up the protest and the war to make sure that uh, Tinubu 
is um, is uh, is removed from office. Okay, and of a shout, my people. Um, let's quickly go straight to the to the content, and then let us know what your opinions and what your ideas actually is on this matter. It is a pleasure. Don't forget to to leave down below the comments. Upload any new videos.